Hey, I'm Kev Kev, welcome back to V Rally 4 has had an introduction last time out. Now we're getting into some serious stuff. As we have a rally in Malaysia, no cost, as we're on our Ford Escort, I presume. As if you did not know what rallying was, you go down a route, the co driver yells at you, and you hopefully do not hit things. That's basically what rallying is. is it as in Free Rally 4, it offers a wide range of special environments to put great demands on your driving skills. Just getting the car started seems to put great demand on my skills, so let's see how we do. As after the last time on the Rally Cross, or V Rally Cross, should I say, 75% was a bit too easy. Should we just put it all the way up to hard and see what happens? Even though it's our first time in this car, first time around Malaysia in the Rally, first time doing a proper Rally as well. I was going to see how we do. Gets the hardest difficulty. So we are revving it up. Get ready for the first stage. Music stops, the heartbeat raises. Right four into left three. And right five into jump 50. Caution left four. And left four into right three. Left three. Into right four, 30 through gate. And right five into left three. And right four into left five. And right three into kick for 50. Left four tightens. Into kink for 150. Right three into left four. Break square right through gate into left three. And right five short and jump into left four. Right four, 100 from me. Right four, don't cut. And left three into right three. Caution left three into break through gate into right one into left 350. Right four tightens. Into left four, short opens, don't cut into right four. And kinks over crest, 150. Break right three. Into left, 330. And right three, open 50. Jump over crest 50. Left four and right four short 30. Caution right four over crest. Into left four and left four 100. Left four into kinks for 50. Left three into right two. Right five long over bump, keep in. Left three. And kick for 100. Break 
left for Titan. And right three, keep middle. And right four. Into left five, Titan. Right four, into jump. And right three, into left four. Right 350. Left 5 short into right 6 long. Tightens over sand. And jump. Into right 4. Crest. And left 4 short into square right. And left three. And right five into jump. Dip and jump over crest. And the finish. Are you kidding about that ending? Why did we get the time penalty? But we made a couple of big mistakes here, cost ourselves lots of time, and it's no surprise to see we're down in seventh. For the last of the finishers, 33 seconds behind the leader. We did get it going on the sand stuff. Shame the whole stage wasn't sand, though, as we're behind Quinton Addison as they won the stage. Nice race. You put up a good fight. Now that you're competing in your own car, you're also going to have to pay for your own repair costs. Those repair costs might start rising sharply. So as we return, we got our 25,000. So I assume we've got enough money to actually buy another car, but I'm not sure we're going to be doing that yet. As a driver just starting your career, you will not be alone in your journey. You'll start working with people who will help you manage your contracts, car, budget, and so on. So let's go to recruitment. Crew management. As an agent, I specialize in V Rally Cross. Let's just say I can give you access to these types of stages quite easily. Not all agents specialize in V-Rally Cross. Some are passionate about rally driving, and some prefer other disciplines, so different specializations are possible. Open the mechanic panel for more information about your crew. The mechanic panel? Where do we go here? Okay. So we've got research, we've got our agent, our V-Rally Cross expert, and the mechanic crew. Your mechanic crew will be in charge of repairing your car. The more qualified they are, the quicker and cheaper the repairs will be. But remember, if your workforce is more qualified, they will ask for higher salaries. So keep an eye on costs when you're thinking of recruiting a veteran mechanic. You can also recruit engineers into your crew. Open the research crew panel to find out more about this. There's our current head mechanic, Heng Hu. As we don't want to see him again. He is cheap though. Less than a thousand pounds per week. Or a thousand dollars. Not as cheap as a research crew though. Engineers are in charge of developing higher performance components for your vehicle. You will need them to tune and enhance the mechanical performance of your car. Just like the mechanics, if you recruit more qualified engineers, their salaries will obviously go up. So bear in mind that you will have a larger investment to take care of. A new recruit has just become available. Go to the recruitment panel for more information. Oh my god, how does that figure out? Let's, let's head to recruitment then, so let's go back. And there's a mechanic in Russia, he seems to be lost in the Serbian snow. So let's see if we can maybe recruit him. Let's can recruit. Had the new member, why not? Welcome to Team Hardy Patterson. Of course, the performance of your car is very closely connected to the experience and skills of your crews. This means that if you want to hire better personnel, you'll have to check offers regularly. I know I've already mentioned it, but just a little reminder. Hiring mechanics and engineers comes with a cost. You'll have to pay their salaries at the end of the week. God, it's like dealing with student loans again, being reminded of the cost every month. As you can see, the mechanic 
under the head mechanic. So the mechanic has exhaust, suspension, gearbox, engine and chassis. Replacement, I think. And then the head mechanic. He does chassis, radiator, exhaust, brakes, tires and suspension. We don't care about electronics or bodywork just yet. And of course we're going to make the bodywork disappear on stages. So we don't need to care about that. Let's head back to the activity hub. Uh, so we've got a congrats from Ford. Well done, you finished the rally and destroyed the car. Have $25,000. Why doesn't that happen all the time I do that? That's okay, we've seen that message. Let's get away from there. Is this, there's something else to look at the info board. We can look at a garage. We can look at our results. Very good seventh to follow up that win. In the Ford Focus RS RX. No wonder we won by a country mile then. So we've got a rally in Japan to go to. Of course we want to enter. If you have noticed that you haven't been able to control your car exactly as you would have liked, or that it felt rather harsh over the curbs, or oversteered a bit too much, you can change its settings to suit your driving style better. Have a look at the settings options to adjust your vehicle and how it drives. So let's actually look at car settings. So we've got the tarmac preset. Then we can look at car upgrades and the technical sheet for the Ford Escort RS 1600 is four cylinder engine. Got four gears, max speed 182 kilometers per hour, 140 brake horsepower as well in this car. Not the best power to rate ratio, but it does seem to fly in our hands, at least through the air. So for tarmac, gonna want a stiffer car, lower ride height. Maybe you don't want the brakes so rearward. There's maybe something you would want on the gravel to help swing that rear end round. Tarmac, you want to be you no know, more straight lines like you're racing on the circuit. Let's bring that brake distribution a bit forward. Springs are a bit stiff. I'm guessing that's okay. And shall we change the AI level? Shall we bring it down slightly? So we've done 75 is 2. Though 100 seems to be too much. Shall we go for 90 this time around? Once again, we're on a different surface, though. And 
on right five. And left 550. Right three. And roundabout third exit. Left four and right three. In the break square left narrows 100. Left six cut in the right five over crest. Left two in the right 330 narrows. Left four long. And left three. In the right three short 50. Right four short 30. Caution right four cut over crest. Right six. And left six long. And left five. In the hairpin right long opens. Hairpin left. Hairpin right, 150. Right four. Break, hairpin left, 200. Break, hairpin right into left six, tightens to four. Into right five, 100. Left four open. Right six, 100. Into finish. Yes! That's how you do a comeback! Thought, it, I thought I screwed it up for making a mistake early on. And that was tough. That first section, it was all rhythm. It was all braking, accelerate, brake, accelerate and just rolling off the throttle and then when it opened up car came alive we got into a bit of a better rhythm we win by a second so we found our level actually night it might be too low considering you know we made a horrible mistake early on which cost us you know at least 10 seconds so you know maybe we could put it more around 95 but very happy with that first win in a rally and we upgraded the radiator. And look at all that money. Barely any repair costs. And one week has passed. And like every other week, you have to pay your cruise. So go to the payday screen. Only 3,000. That's not too bad, I guess. So from Japan, we got around 5,000, I think, in total. As we were knocked our first upgrade for the car. So press A to go to the garage and install it. The more you drive the car, the more upgrades you unlock for it. The speed at which you unlock upgrades depends on the effectiveness of your engineer crew. Each day spent in a race brings you closer to the next upgrade. Let's return to the activity hub to see what new events you can take part in. So can I upgrade my car as my agent Say no, you can't do that now. Let's buy the radiator, shall we? Of course you want to upgrade. So the speed is slightly increased as well so let's see what we've got so activity hub look at this we can go to Kenya we can go back to Malaysia we can go back to Japan it's also I think that's a V rally cross event in Russia so we could get a new car then or we could go to Kenya and the thing I do love about Japan as well, this is something I've really missed on the WRC, is those Jap Japanese tarmac stages. Love them in Richard Burns Rally as well, if you've ever played that. Absolutely missed that rally. And hopefully it returns soon, as talks about it. So, do we buy a new car, or do we go to Rally Kenya to end the episode?
I think we're going to make this a rally episode. Let's go to Kenya. So let's look at the car settings this time. Of course, we're on the tarmac now. We're back on the gravel. It's going to be a bit different. We've got some snow settings as well. But gravel, as you can see, not the total opposite, but you want raised ride height. You want a softer car. Definitely on the gravel in Kenya. It's going to be very dusty as well. Going to be virtually no grip on there. And of course, we've got brake distribution a bit more rearward as well to get that rear end round. We can look at our car upgrades, there you go. You can see the radiator upgrade has been installed. So let's confirm those settings. And maybe look at AI settings as well. We only won by a second, I know, the last time out. Shall we keep it at 90 so we can actually kind of reference it to Malaysia as well earlier in this episode? Let's see how we do. Screwed it up in the second half of that stage. I saw it was around five corners before the finish. Just, I just saw a rock stick out on that three left. And so I swerved a bit too much to the right. Cost us a couple of seconds right at the end. Otherwise, we could have been on the podium, I reckoned. But sit on the gravel. Maybe shows a bit of disparity, maybe, between tarmac and gravel. We'll see going forward as we get some good earnings, though. Open the online tab to see the online special stages and races that are available. So here we go, we're going on the internet. You can compete against other players all over the world in the event type of your choice. The more stages you win, the higher you'll rank in the league tables. If you have the talent, your reputation will grow and you will be recognized as a serious challenger in the driver community. Well, I think you're ready now. You now have all the basics necessary to get your career started. Good luck! So new customization elements have been unlocked and are now available to buy in the garage and profile sections. As you can see, I've got the all out, balls out edition. So I've got three rally for I've also got the career booster DLC, I've got the season pass as well. I am a mug as 
You can go to Bolivia, you can go to Cape Town, Monument Valley, the Air Base, the National Park, the Mount Rainier. You know, is that Pikes Peak? The hill climb. And you can also do some V-Rally courses as well. So that's the online hub then. So where else can we go? Oh, we can go to Kenya. We can go to Serbia. We can go to our mechanic's homeland. And we can look at our dealers as well. So you can get a hill climb car, extreme Karna car, a buggy, a V-Rally cross car. And of course, we've got a rally car already. So we've done a rally episode. What should we do next time? We can do Extreme Karna maybe, the buggy, the V-Rally course, or the hill climb. Let's just see the price of these cars. So this is a Honda Extreme Karna car. I can already tell I'm going to hate that. I was terrible at the Jim Karna in Dirt 3. Then we've got the hill climb, the BMW 3 Series. Look at that spoiler. And then we have the V-Rally cross, the Renault Alpine A310. And then the buggy. The Volkswagen Beetle buggy. Look at those headlights. Wouldn't want to meet that in the back alley. So we'll look at that in between episodes. And the next time, we can look around and see what we want to do. Has we've got some agents we can look at. A mechanic, a level 3. Level 3 head engineer, level 3 head mechanic. Not a lot of salary, actually, for that engineer. Should we recruit that engineer now? Let's recruit another mechanic as well. Going to boost our lineup. So all mechanics are specially shown in yellow, so I was correct. But most mechanics have the same specialty. They earn a synergy bonus in that specialty. Okay. So I'm high on engineer. I want to look at mechanic, God damn it! Oh, that is engineer. Oh, is this engineer going to replace the new one? No, just going to join the team. So she's very good at the gearbox, engine, sashi, radiator, and suspension. My head engineer is very good at the engine, sashi, radiator, brakes, electronics, and bodywork. And then let's look at mechanics. What, there was another mechanic, wasn't there? So we've already got two mechanics. Do we want to hire another one or are we hiring too much too early? As this mechanic can have two. And it's like the engine. Is that right? Or is the chassis? No, the chassis, gearbox, exhaust, tires and suspension. Why not? Going all out already. We can hire a new head engineer. A new head mechanic as well. So let's see if this new head mechanic's better than our current one. Doesn't look like it. Actually, he's, he's better in different areas, it looks like. So we lose out in tires, exhaust, and chassis. But we're gaining bodywork, electronics, brakes, and engine. Probably worth it. Plus, they're level 3 as well. And the same with the engineer. And we're going to lose an engine development, but gearbox, brakes... Suspension and electronics. No, he does give us a bonus in bodywork development and engine. And I know what my driving's like. Now let's upgrade. Get rid of these level one. All of these level ones. Increase everyone. Even our V-Rally Cross Expert. Now we've got a wholesaler, which increased the price of car park upgrades. So there we go. We've just culled our team at the end of this episode. So there's a buggy event, a rally event, another rally event, and another rally event. So you may be getting the buggy then. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sign up for watching, and I'll see you next time.